Hi everyone, my name is Nathan Bennett. I'm a research associate in the Institute for the Oceans and Fisheries at the University of British Columbia and the chair of the People in the Ocean Specialist Group for the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. This is a short overview of our paper titled The COVID-19 Pandemic, Small-Scale Fisheries and Coastal Fishing Communities. In brief, we review the current plight of small-scale fishers under the COVID-19 pandemic and suggest actions that can be taken by various organizations to help. Since the beginning of 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic has rapidly spread around the world, leading to millions of cases and thousands of deaths. Most countries have implemented social distancing measures or lockdowns to stop the spread of the virus. Restaurants, schools, and churches have closed. Travel has been restricted. National economies have taken a major hit and unemployment numbers have soared. Everyone is experiencing the social and economic fallout. From what we were hearing, small-scale fishers and coastal communities are also being hugely impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. This is a concern because small-scale fisheries make a large contribution to employment and food security around the world. Globally, there are more than 32 million small-scale fishers and 76 million more employed in post-harvest jobs. 46% of those employed in the sector are women. Another consideration is that coastal populations are often highly dependent on fish as a source of protein and an estimated 81% of small-scale fisheries catch is used for local human consumption. To better understand how the COVID-19 pandemic is impacting the small-scale fisheries sector, we looked at news items and public sources from around the world. For the most part, the news is bleak. Headlines from India, Africa, the US, and elsewhere read, Fishing industry smacked hard by pandemic. Fishing communities bear brunt of lockdown. And fisheries begging to return to work. But there is also some good news. Headlines from Scotland, Canada, Ghana, and Mexico proclaim seafood fishermen adapt to catch local markets. Lobster captain sells directly to consumers to stay afloat during COVID-19. And in Ghana, a startup that sells fish online and delivers home is prospering. Here is a summary of our analysis of the negative consequences and positive outcomes of the COVID-19 pandemic for the small-scale fisheries sector and coastal communities. Negative consequences have included complete shutdowns of some fisheries, decreased demand and lower prices, increased health risks for fishers and fish workers, further marginalization of migrants, women and children, exacerbated vulnerabilities to climate change and disasters, and increased illegal fishing. Some positive outcomes have also emerged. These include the sharing of fish and seafood in local communities, increased increases in local sales for community-supported fisheries, and reduced pressure from industrial fisheries. There is also evidence that small-scale fishers are acting collectively to advocate for and safeguard their rights and livelihoods, and working with governments to mitigate the impacts and reopen fisheries when safe. Yet, overall, the negative consequences seem to far outweigh the positive outcomes, and the pandemic is a long way from over. Many governments and organizations are taking action to respond to this unfolding crisis. Yet the response thus far is insufficient to meet the impacts that are being experienced by the small-scale fisheries sector. Thus, we urge all parties to rapidly mobilize in support of small-scale fishers, coastal communities, and associated civil society organizations. Governments and development organizations can protect workers from risks and exploitation, safeguard supply chains, augment social and health services, provide economic relief and aid, and prioritize reopening small-scale fisheries. NGOs can mobilize personnel and financial resources, support the development of local markets, advocate for small-scale fishers and commun coastal communities, and coordinate activities for greater impact. Donors can identify options and target funds to support small-scale fisheries, be flexible with already allocated funds, and reorient future funding programs. The private sector can protect the safety of workers, strengthen social safeguards, source from small-scale fishers and ensure market access. Researchers can help too. They can research and communicate social and economic impacts, identify solutions and convey recommendations, and support the advocacy efforts of community partners. To conclude, the COVID-19 pandemic is having far-reaching impacts for small-scale fishers and coastal communities around the world. Negative consequences are far outweighing positive outcomes. Long-term hardships will likely follow. Yet the small-scale fisheries sector is too big and too important to ignore. 
Thus, we emphasize the need for rapid mobilization of all parties in support of the small-scale fishery sector and coastal communities. Action must be swift and targeted to the most vulnerable. In the longer term, there is the need to further bolster and build the resilience of the small-scale fisheries sector. If you want more information, please read the paper or email us. Thank you for listening.